yes we are freaking at the Freakers Ball, y'all. Right here live on reallibertymedia.com. That newly redesigned at reallibertymedia.com, by the way. Yes, indeed, it is Friday, September 21st, 2018. Uh, I guess this counts as the official last day of summer for uh, for for the for this year. Yeah, because it says on my calendar anyway that tomorrow is the what they're calling here the September equinox. <laughs> I th I thought it was the autumnal equinox, but according to my calendar, it's the September equinox. Anyway, so that's tomorrow, so it's the last day of summer. Goodbye, summer. It's been nice, but uh, not really sad to see you go. I don't, I'm not really a fan of the hot weather. Anyway, welcome to everybody uh, out there in the various places you may be listening, wherever you may be, whether that be on freedomsnetwork.com or minds.com or reallibertyorg or uh, the various other audio streams we have out there going on, going around. Uh, and and there are many of those. Um, or if you're here on the Real Liberty Media channel, on reallibertymedia.com, on the Freakers Ball channel, I should say. Yeah, uh, that's channel one there. Or just go uh, to the show pages thing. It's probably easier to just go to show pages now because the way I've redesigned the site, you don't have the channel selector on the front page anymore. <laughs> Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, Zolna is right. I'm not sure who Zolna is. Ben Wass says he wants to call into the show. Well, that'll be fine, but not right now. A little later on, you could do that. I'll, I'll be glad to take your call in um, uh, via either Skype or the, or the telephone number there on the show page. Uh, whichever, whatever strikes your fancy, dude, uh, I'm, I'm good with both. So, uh, if you really got something to say, you can say it right here. On the Freakers Ball. Now, Moose Girl sent me a text, said she'd be a little late. Well, she didn't say how much late, she just said late. Um, so, we'll see. We'll wait around for her. She'll, she'll be around at some point in time um, tonight. I'm sure of that. Probably having a nice dinner out celebrating her new job. <laughs> and we'll talk to her about that when she comes around. Um, let's see what else we got going on here today. Anything interesting or exciting or fun? Um, not right off the top of my head. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but my brain, you know, it's not what it used to be. I'm, I'm old now. <laughs> Sorry about people older than me. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I'm not sorry about you. Uh, I, I just uh, oh, oh, what, what, what is this? did I get another did I get another message here? What's going on? Moose girl, Moose girl, sending me sending me messages. And let me see if I got the other one here. New message. I am going to be a bit late for the show. Okay, I already got that message. So why are you telling me it's a new message? I don't know. Dang cell phones. Who could figure it out? Yeah, Moose girl got a new job, Ben. Uh, she is at the same company, uh, just in a different, different, uh, department and a different position. So, uh, she's going to, she's going to be the, uh, the secretary, I do believe. Something like that anyway. <laughs> yeah, she did. She wanted it a lot and she went out and she made it happen. So, hooray for Moose. You know, uh, you got, you got to love her for that. Um, I know I had something else to tell you guys, something interesting. Well, I don't know. Um, anyway, um, you may or may not have heard, uh, but, uh, earlier this week, Mr. Dickie Betts, uh, Almond Brothers fame, had, had a little accident. He was out in his backyard playing with his pooch, and he slipped and fell and cracked his head. Uh, on the cement there, and so he's he's been in the hospital. He, he, now he's been upgraded a little bit, uh, I guess. It's ser still serious, but serious but stable now. So we wish the best to Mr. Betts. Uh, hopefully he'll still be around and continue making great music for us to listen to as we go along. Is Well, he didn't have his guitar with him, so I I'm going to assume, yes, the guitar is okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Probably all of his guitars are okay. And I think the dog is fine, too. It's just him. He just hurt his head, and, and he got some bleeding on the brain. Uh, so, well, the guitar's worth a lot, but Mr. Betts is worth more. Maybe not to you. Maybe not to me. What? No, no, he is. Because, uh, you, you know, he could make that music on any guitar. But uh, we 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 only got we only got one Mr. Betts. Well, we have a junior, but that's not the same thing. <laughs> anyway, in honor of Mr. Betts, there. What 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 what's going on here? Why is that wrong? Why is that wrong? That's not narrow. This should be the right size. Something happened here. I got something messed up here. I don't, I don't know what it is. Let me, let me let me try and adjust this here before we go on. I changed something and it's in the wrong spot now. Okay, so before we go on, I, I need to adjust my uh, my my camera settings. Make sure I got everything right. Okay, there's that. There's that. There's that. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. All right. Okay. That that'll be good. That'll be good. All right. Perfect. Um. Oh, that's still a little bit off. Still a little bit off. I know it doesn't matter, but I, I'm I'm I can't help it. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> All right, so um, send it out there to them. Send it out there. Send out your good whatever juju out there. Ah, uh, yeah, that there is Ina Forsman, Tasha Taylor, and Layla Zoe, a.k.a. the Blue Sisters. <laughs> and that song is the Chain of Fools uh, spoken edition of that particular track ship of fools chain of fools uh a anyway <laughs> before that george thoroughgood and the delaware destroyers with no particular place to go and we kicked it off there with rambling man the almond brothers band uh get better dicky get better fast and get us some new tunages we appreciate it if you do you know it's uh we just do. Why are people setting off fireworks outside? It makes no sense to me. People setting off fireworks on what the hell is today? September twenty-first. I don't know why people set off fireworks. That's just what they do, I guess. Here, <laughs> hey cowboy tech man. Oh yeah, I didn't even say hi to the people. Hey, hi to the people. Uh, how, <laughs> yeah, we got a bunch of great folks here in the RLM chat, Real Liberty Media chat on IRC.freenode.net. Come on over. Pound, pound, Real Liberty Media and IRC.freenode. And uh, you can uh, talk to the great folks that are here, Barman and, and Cowboy Tech and myself and the Moose Girl who will be here soon, I assume. Can't really tell from her text, but I assume I assume. Soon, I assume. Anyway, Miss Kate and uh, the Phantom. Uh, ben Wa, uh, Beth Z, you around tonight, Beth? Are you hanging out somewhere else? Come on over, Beth. We got a couple of Chloe's here. I don't know if she's tuned in or not. You never know. It's Chloe. We got Colfax and uh, Cyborg Noodle, Mr. Don Carroll and Dakota and Frumpy. Frumpy? Yes, Frumpy. Gooberzilla, Graham Z, uh, Gromit, IB Don C. Hey, there's Moose in the chat anyway. Uh, there's Gromit and Donzi again. We got Java Doctor. We got JJ's. We got Wana Taco. And we got a couple of Kozus and a Layer 8. I'm not sure who Layer 8 is. So, howdy, Layer 8, if you're tuned in. If that is your real name. Meester Meister Brow. The Bowie, the Poxes. Several of Poxes. P Pone Sauce. The Rain. The Fluke Bot. Mr. Rob Works, who's firing up that bubbler. Good man. We got Suck Puppet. And Skittlebot and uh, Rome's Trusto one and Vin E. He does it so easily. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, where was I at? <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, anyway, um, what fireworks going off? That's, that's, that's just, just so confusing to me that we got fireworks going off on this particular night. But there they are. There they are. Sounds like a lot of them, too. Somebody's having a fun old time out there letting off them fireworks. I don't know who these people are, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and put these uh, tracks into the, or at least one of these tracks here into the into the thingy for the next round. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> oh boy, I tell you, and yeah, we'll throw her, we'll throw her in there too, because it's been a while on that one. Yep, 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 yep. All right. So, Moose Girl's almost here. She'll be here in a bit. Uh, she's here in the chat. So that means she's home. So that's always good. Uh, let me let me let me share with you the story about Dickie Betts. This is from the other day. Uh, this is before they knew. This is when he was in critical condition. Now he's in serious but stable condition. But this is the original story. Where's the story? Here it is. Uh, Sarasota County. Dickie Betts has been hospitalized after a freak accident at his home. Betts, the rambling man singer, songwriter, writer, and founding Almond Brothers Band guitarist, went out to his backyard in Little Sarasota Bay, and while playing with the family dog, he slipped and cracked his head, causing bleeding in his brain. Uh, Betts has been sedated at an undisclosed local hospital, following the accident that occurred Monday evening at the Osprey home he shares with his wife Donna. David Sparrow, Bet's longtime friend and manager, said the beloved rock legend is listed in critical but stable condition. So, um, yeah. We wish you the best. Again, Mr. Betts. Because we, we need more of your music. So, Get better. Uh, that's that's my that's my that's my take on the matter. <laughs> yeah, it's a little a little selfish. We need more music, but you know. <laughs> uh, but that's how that's how it goes. That's how it goes. All right. Um, <laughs> let me see where we want to go. Oh man. Okay, Beth Z, if you're out there, if you're listening. Take this into consideration. Now, to me, personally, you'd have to be pretty stupid for this to affect you. And I know you're not. However, I, I thought I would share it anyway, just in case. You, you never know what somebody may say or do that may get them caught up into this situation. Uh, this goes for you too, Frumpy, if you're listening. Uh, any other Canuck friends we may have. Because... If you can't come into the fascist states of the United States, if you are up there in Canada legally smoking marijuana, ever, again, for the rest of your life, if you let them know. <laughs> anyway, Canadians who smoke weed legally could face lifetime ban from entering the U.S. And with, and with, and with a threat like that, I would think you'd say, screw you guys, I'm staying home. But here it is from Antimedia.com. Uh, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency has announced that they will continue their fight in the losing battle of cannabis prohibition by banning cannabis, Canadian cannabis users and workers from entering the United States. Customs official told Todd Owen told Politico they will interrogate Canadian citizens. So you can expect to be interrogated. The ones they suspect of using cannabis. And I don't know how they determine who to suspect or not, but they were, they're were they going to interrogate you. Uh, waterboarding and stuff. Anyway, and anyone who says yes or lies will be banned from the U.S. for life. Well, wait a minute. 
If you lie, how do they know you're lying? Huh? <laughs> Additionally, anyone working in the legal cannabis industry will be labeled as a drug trafficker. You're working in a legal industry and you're being labeled as a drug trafficker by the agency, even if they aren't in possession of cannabis when they cross the border. Facilitating the proliferation of the legal marijuana industry in the United States where it is deemed legal or Canada may affect an individual's admissibility to the U.S. <laughs> Canadians who buy legal weed. Well, how do they know if you're buying legal weed? They can't. How do... You won't go in there and you drop down a, a 20 loony bill or whatever the hell it is and get your weed and you walk out the door. Unless they take your name when you buy it, in which case, screw that too. But whatever. It says, our officers are not going to be asking everyone whether they have used marijuana, but if other questions lead there... Uh, or if there's a smell coming from your car, they might ask. If you lie about it, that's fraud and misrepresentation, which carries a lifetime ban. Cannabis, for medical and recreational purposes, is now legal throughout large portions of your United States. But, that sounded like thunder. Anyway, but uh, federal agencies continue to treat users like criminals even in areas where it's already supposedly legal. To make matters even more ridiculous, Canadian citizens can get in trouble for crossing the border with cannabis, even if they are crossing into a state where it's legal, like Washington. U.S. Customs officials have been enforcing this policy for years, said Jessica Goldjew. Uh, anyway, uh, Goldjew was one of the several Canadians to be banned from the U.S., for admitting cannabis use at the border. I'm 30, a university student, and I cross the border weekly to buy my gas and groceries. It's cheaper to get gas and groceries in the United States than it is in Canada? Huh. Anyway, it says, I own a vacation property near Mount Baker. My father is American. I have family in California. I've spent thousands of dollars in the U.S. It doesn't make any sense if they'd turn me away. The agent interrogated me for about three hours and asked questions about my background, history, family, and drug use. I was totally honest. She asked how long I'd smoked pot for. I said about ten years. Then she asked how many times I'd smoked pot in my life. I don't know the exact number, probably 500 times. She gave me a paper saying I was inadmissible to the U.S. and that I cannot cross unless I get a waiver. They turned us around and, and we had to drive back. Uh, by anyone's standards, Goldstein admitted, the, to casual, non-problematic drug use, and she was treated like a criminal or cartel trafficker. In order to get a waiver to be allowed to cross, Goldstein and others who have been banned will have to pay hundreds of dollars for a chance to get a waiver. It's very possible for them to get denied anyway. These agencies are extremely behind the times and out of touch when it comes to the lifestyles of most average people. And sadly, the feds don't so show any signs of lightening up their stance on the subject anytime soon. Yes, it is total BS, and, um, <laughs> you know, I, I don't even really know what to say about it. Uh, it, it, it it's, it's, it's basically insanity um, that they, they still have this attitude about weed, but they do, so there it is, there it is. Ah. <sighs> It's 44 up there in Mooseville. It's only 63 here, and it's not even it's not it's not even fall until tomorrow, and she's already at 44. And there she is on the communication software. Here I am. There she are. 
How's it going? Oh, it's going just fine. How you doing? I'm doing. That's good to know. Better than not doing. No. Oh, as, I can as, say on that as, one. as we say. Um, <laughs> anyway, so uh, where, where did you go out for a nice dinner or something? I went out for fish fry at the bar, the local oh, bar. Okay, okay, cool. Yep, and I ran a little bit over time because they were kind of busy and the Brewers were playing, and the Brewers like scored two home runs in a row. Woohoo! Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> like, what's his name? Mon. Uh, what's his name? Um, Lusakis. You, you could tell me any name in the world, I wouldn't know. He hit a home. Like, he's this big guy. <laughs> they call him Moose. Yeah. He hit a home oh, run. Oh, Moose, Moose. That's cool. Yep, they call I, I, I've seen that. He I've scored seen three that. runs at that home run. I've seen that on, the, on the Twitter. The freaking catcher comes up and hits another home run. It was awesome. All right. Yeah, so, so they're kicking ass. Uh, uh, did they win or still going? or? Still going, yeah. Because right. there was a huge rain delay. They were playing in Pittsburgh, so it was like a two-hour rain delay. Yeah. But anyway, hopefully they'll get to the postseason. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, and that's coming up pretty quick, right? We're in fall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty so, quick here. That'll so, be, that'll be, that'll be, it's exciting. That's terrific. I mean, you know, you got to have some stuff to, like, enjoy. You can't can't all be like, oh, politics sucks. Oh, uh, you can't be all doom and gloom. I mean, you could be, but I, that I, would I, just, like, wreck your life. I, I, I'm, a fa- I'm a fan of the doom and gloom. Um, well, I know, but you can't have it all the time. It's, and, and, it's just and, depressing. And, and the politics, bleh, who cares? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I read all this stuff and I just laugh because, uh, yeah. you know, it's like always you're talking about this judge guy and this and this crazy girl. Um, and it's just like, so what? <laughs> yeah. Who cares? who cares? You know, to me, it's like, just get rid of the Supreme Court. Yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, if they're going to be such a yeah. problem getting getting somebody there, just get rid of the whole right. thing. Just, what do you got to be? Your shit don't have to stink to get into the Supreme Court, apparently. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And then once you're there, see, the problem I have with it, and this is the problem I have with the government, governor in Wisconsin, is once you're in the Supreme Court, you can be there forever. It's like, I'm sorry, you can be there until you're a fucking skeleton. Yeah. Okay. Come on, well, you know you gotta get some new blood in this in this shit once in a while. Now, this is the problem with the the oligarchy we have going on. All right. It's an oligarchy. It's so fucking old. These people are ancient. It's an They've old, been in this old, few, these oligarchy. These positions of power forever. <laughs> it's like get the fuck out. Let someone you know if this is supposed to be democracy and it's supposed to work, you know, like they say it's supposed to, like it's even a real thing, then change the way shit's done. Because you guys aren't convincing me that democracy even exists here, all right? And and even if it did, would that be a good thing? What? Said even if it did, would that be a good thing? If it did what? If it existed. No, really not, because democracy (laughs) means majority rules, which is bullshit. Right. It's bullshit. Absolutely. But, you know, they toss it around. They tell us this is the kind of country we have. But in reality, we know that's not the fucking case. Most people, most people think it is because they buy into the lie. But we know that it doesn't fucking exist. No, it's just a fucking word that they throw around like we're oh yay democracy oh it's such a great thing. No, well, it yeah, it, it, it empowers the slaves, or at least yeah, it, it makes the slaves yeah. feel like they're empowered. Right, but oh, in we reality, have a say. it's not a democracy. <laughs> we have a say. No, you don't. No, we don't. We have no say in the matter whatsoever. But, That's what they want you to think, that you have a say in the matter. No, you don't. Yeah. Not with an oligarchy going on, which is what really was, is what we have. Para, para. They go around this fucking word democracy like it really exists when it really does not. Hey, Rob, Rob Works, I think, got, he's closer there. It's yes. para, parasitocracy. Yeah, the parasitocracy or whatever. Yep, that's what we got going on here. You know... The people of Wisconsin, if they want water out, they need to start bitching and start uh, voting and getting, not voting, but asking for and demanding term limits for governor. Okay? It's fucking bullshit that there is no term limits. That this douchebag gets to get bought and paid for every fucking term. Right. I'm just, I'm fucking pissed. 
because the, the Koch brothers, they fucking keep putting millions of dollars. No one can compete with this guy. No one. Okay? No one can compete with Walker. Yeah. Not, not against that kind of money. Well, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't, it, regardless, if they put some other different ass hat in there, he'd still be just as screwed. Right. Uh, you know, so who cares? Walker or yeah, But you get runner, these people once in a while. Trotter. Man, and I know this is, like, few and far between. <laughs> you get these people that actually want to do good in politics, but once they get in there, they're fucking corrupted and they go to shit. <laughs> but, you know, all their promises go out the fucking window. Yeah. And that's all they are is promises. Yep, Soros funds the others, Kate. These guys are all bought and paid for. Exactly. And it's disgusting. It's, it, it's disgusting. That's why your vote don't mean shit. No. Nope. Unless you're one of the people funding these motherfuckers, your vote ain't shit. No, it ain't. Or you could say your vote is shit. <laughs> right, well, yeah, your vote is shit. Doesn't mean shit. Waste of fucking time to go to the polls and act like you're making a difference. Like, like your vote matters. One vote makes a difference. That is a bunch of bullshit that's been... Blown, the smoke has been blown up your ass for years, and your parents' asses, and their parents' asses. Right. That's what's been going on here. Smoke being blown up everyone's ass. And you know, all these people, oh, yeah, let's go to war. Let's go and fight for these guys. I'm, I'm being patriotic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you're not. You're fighting for them, motherfuckers. They're all ass. heroes. They're all heroes, don't you know? Yeah. Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. So, now, let's hear about the brand new job you got. Okay, well, I, I saw there was an opening in a different department. I'm like, okay, you know, I've been here as long as I have. I should be able to do that. Well, I did. I worked in that department as a temp, like, in 2011. For, like, four months. The okay. The department. Dealing but, with all the defender vendors who made your accidents. So it should be interesting. I mean, and, and your what's your job? What's your job going to be called? Well, administrative assistant. But so, so you're a secretary, basically. Yeah. A sec secretary. Well, that's what I've been all along as a secretary, an office. Worker. Well, you were you were a billing a billing clerk. But it's still a secretary. Okay. It falls under the category of secretary. I mean, pretty much. Yeah. Secretary is a really broad term. All right, it's very broad term. Because I'm an office because worker. because now no, don't they call like just all your regular secretaries? They call them administrative assistant now. Or office workers. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> because a lot of there's like a few dudes in my in the billing department. You know, yeah. yeah. To me, a secretary. Well, the secretary of defense, secretary of state. It's not a female word, really. No, it's not. It's not. Secretary of the Treasury, whatever the fuck. I'd love to have that guy's job. Not really. But <laughs> that's an interesting job. I got yeah. all the money, bitch. It's my money. <laughs> I'm in charge of all that money, bitch. <laughs> your, your, your name, your, your name, your signature would be on all the Federal Reserve notes. What? Your signature yeah. would be on all the Federal Reserve notes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> See, secretary doesn't mean a female anymore. And that word's barely even used anymore, secretary. Right. I and mean, you don't even have flight uh, stewardesses anymore. You got no, flight, flight attendants. attendants. Yeah. So. <laughs> and act right. actresses are no longer actresses. They're actors. Yes. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I mean, it'll be good. It'll be a change. I need a change. I was ready for a change in my job. Yeah, no, that's great. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. I don't start till October 8th because I had to give, you know, my department two weeks. But right, right, right. I think so. That's all right. It's all good. Hey, you know, you keep racking up them bennies as the longer you're there and... Right, right. It's at the same company, so uh, it's all good. You know, you, you still got to deal with the drive, but... but. Yeah, it's really easy to 
it's a lot easier to get a job at the same place you work at. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> coming from the outside, you know what I mean? So that was really cool. That Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, know, as long as you're really a, cool. a decent employee, then yeah. Right. It was an easy, it'll be an easy transition, you know. Right. So, yeah, it's good. It'll be good. And, and if you've so made different. some... You know, if if you've made some friends there, you don't lose your friends. Right, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you know, I, I don't know how many places that I've worked at and oh yeah when you're when you're leaving, oh yeah, keep in touch. Yeah, that's gotta happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Yeah. But yeah, um, <laughs> For sure, man. It's, it'll be good. I mean, I'm glad I went for it. It's like, I was ready for a change. I seen this opening, and I applied. I'm like, yeah. okay, fuck Front it. You know? Okay, man. You, you, you wanted it? Right. You got it? That, that's all, man. You, uh, that's, that's how you do it. You, Flight you, attendants aren't meant to fly. They're meant to fucking be waitresses. Yeah. In the air. That's what a flight attendant is. A glorified waitress. Right. Sky waitress. They're not required to fucking fly. <laughs> Hello, a pilot can fly. It's not a fucking wait a glorified waitress in the air. Right, right. All right. Well, yeah. I, I don't know if you heard earlier in the show. Uh, I play I played the uh, the uh, Almond Brothers uh, Ramblin' Man song because oh, yeah, uh, Dickie Di- Betts. Yeah, because Dickie Betts got the head, head thing going on. I heard about that. Yeah. So he's all right though. I mean, I think he's all right. Yeah, he fell and he must have fell all in just right to fucking bang his nog in there and you know yep. cause a brain bleed. That's not good. No, no. Especially at his age, but he should be okay. Yeah, hopefully. He's out there playing yeah. with his dog, Dang, What the hell? Yeah, you know, it happens, those dang dogs. <laughs> Don't so be blaming the dog over. now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. All right, let's play some music. You can get settled That's in a little better there. And, uh, and uh, we'll come back. All right, we will. Talk we'll be about, back. Talk about more interesting stuff. Stuff. <laughs> This is Buffalo Springfield. You bet your baby that is the fight song. Sister Sin there, tearing it up for you. Uh, before that, um, for for Mr. Benoit, a lady by the name of Margot Price, not what I was expecting at all. That's some uh, serious shit-kicking country stuff there. <laughs> and we kicked it off with Buffalo Springfield. For what it's worth, the extended version of that track. Some of y'all may not have heard that extended version before, but there it was. And you got nice. to hear it right here. Yeah, high speed muffler yeah. bearings. Yeah, you got you always got to get them uh, them muffler bearings going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, man. okay. So Margot Price, okay, there's a there's a fine line between country and bluegrass, right? Uh-huh. But there is a line. It's a sick line. So people, I don't think so it's people a fun blend those lines. I, I don't think it's that I don't was think, a really country song. I don't I don't totally think it's country. A, I don't think yeah. it's a real fine line, Moose. I think it's a pretty thick yeah, line. I love well, you think so? No, 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 no. <laughs> new, between new country and bluegrass, yes, there is a thick line, but the old school country versus old, uh, it's hard to explain, but there are some crossover a little bit. But this modern stuff they call a country, which really is not country, it's pop music, I just can't stand it. I can't stand it. Uh, okay. Like, I love Hank Williams. I love Will, Willie Nelson. I love Waylon Jennings, Patsy Klein, Johnny Cash. You know, they're considered country. Well, uh, Johnny Cash, he... Uh, he, he was, he, like, more... He, I don't know how to define he, him. He's, he's loved by the rockabilly crowd, so... Oh, yeah. No, he know. was a god. He was, he was up there in the upper echelon of music, for sure. Like, he could do anything and... Everyone loved him, like his, you know, loved his music, you know. Yeah, but but definitely, uh, if you if you look into the, to the rockabilly people, uh, the rockabilly right, crowd, right. they they love Johnny Cash. Oh yeah, big and, time. 
And, oh, and, I, and I love Rockabilly. <laughs> oh, I do too. I love Rockabilly, man. Rockabilly is one of my favorite kinds of music to dance to. The blues is one of my favorite kinds of music to dance to. Bluegrass, of course, but... I mean, rock, yeah, but my heart is with the... I, it's in, you know, not just in one genre, I should say. Yeah, John, Johnny Cash did a fine version of Hurt. Right. Trent, uh, Trent oh, Reznor. Uh, Trent Reznor is obviously the the king of that song, but <laughs> you know. You know, great. I love smoking weed every day. Weed is good to smoke every day. You know, I'm not she's not the only one that smokes weed every fucking day. She's not the first person to tell Rowan so that. I right. can guarantee you that one. <laughs> so good for her. And... Yeah, great. No, it's awesome. Up and coming artists are awesome. I'm not a country fan. I mean, like I said, I'm old school country and I'm a bluegrass girl. She is. She's a solid bluegrass you know, girl. Ain't that, no, you know, ain't and no there is a difference between that. country and bluegrass. Right. You know, we could sit here and talk about this all day long, but. But it's going it, to be what but, it is. And most people forget and don't think about this is that if it wasn't for the blues. Rock and roll would not fucking exist. Right. Neither would uh, so, neither would no country. Exactly. So the blues is where it started, people. The blues is where it all started, man. That, that's pure Americana right there, the blues. It is. The blues is Americana music, and that's where it all started. Well, so let's see. Bluegrass, you know, all of it. Well, since you're talking about weed and bluegrass, so... Yeah. What what is Judas Priest nine inch nine kind of a meat? What 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 do you what do you? What, I'm not, I don't follow you, Goober. Uh, of course, that's normal. <laughs> yeah, that's a normal thing. <laughs> I, I never follow you. But, so here here it is. And tomorrow morning, I don't I don't know if you can do this, but you can try if you have the ingredients. Cannabis coffee could make your mornings less stressful. Of course it could. Yeah, yeah, thank. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Go to pick a brain surgeon and figure that one out. From from, from the Metro. Co. Uk, cannabis coffee could be just what you need on a crowded <laughs> I'm sure it's uh, what on I a need. on a crowded early <laughs> commute or during a testing morning meeting. Testing morning meeting. All right, whatever. Uh, Cambridge-based researchers claim that a healthy new cannabis-infused coffee could reduce drinkers' feelings of stress and anxiety. The coffee was created by a supplement company, Future You, and is infused with cannabis oil, also known as CB <laughs> CBD. Um, CBD naturally... What? How do you say it? How do you say that? Well, I'm, I'm reading it. That's the way they have it spelled. It's it, People spell it differently. Anyway, CBD naturally occurs within cannabis and is at least 113 one of at least 113 cannabinoids that have been found in the hemp plant. CBD is not psychoactive, which means you're not going to get high from it. You're not going to get high from it. Great. Well, <laughs> in, the hell? It doesn't matter. In recent years, CBD has become a rallying point for activists who want to see cannabis legalized for medicinal and recreational purposes. Studies have shown that the compound has a positive properties that and, and can be used to reduce pain and inflammation. I know who Nine Inch Nails is. I know who NIN is. But uh, what I'm not getting here, dude, is the, um, uh, what did you say? Uh, it didn't matter. Judas Priest or Nine Inch Nails, you're, like, comparing them. I, that's, that's where he lost me. There's anyway. no comparison there. <laughs> anyway, studies have shown that the compound, I already read that. It could be valuable for patients suffering from seizures, chronic pain, and insomnia. In July, the UK government announced that doctors would be able to prescribe medicinal cannabis after advice from the Advisory Council on the Misuse of Drugs uh, outlined in the medical benefit of the drug. Yes, they call it a drug. Anyway, yesterday, soft drink giant Coca-Cola confirmed that it is considering oh. creating cannabis-infused versions of some of its beverages. Dr. Dr. Nicholas Schenker, uh, a member of Future U, 
advisory board said, all over the world, people are using CBD, often in pharmaceutical doses, and to address their health issues. CBD acts on the endocannabinoid receptors that affect mood. Some people claim that it helps them to reduce stress and anxiety. Yeah, no shit. Anyway, I, <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Future U hopes to uh, hopes to trial the CBD infused coffee at a Cambridge at a cafe in Cambridge next month. Uh, market marketer Mags Dixon said, "This drink offers the benefits of Britain's fastest growing well being supplement as part of your morning routine. Uh, drink up that weed in the morning. Yes, indeed. Coffee is the perfect complement to CBD." Since most of us already enjoy a cup of coffee every day, this combination will help them to get more health benefits without changing their habits. Plus, it has a unique flavor profile and is really drinkable. Will the will the stimulation of, of will will the stimulation of caffeine complement the chill out properties of CBD? Will it? Will it taste weird? We'll have to wait to find out. <laughs> To me, it sounds great. I would love some CBD-infused oils, uh, I mean, uh, coffees. Oh, yeah. Coffee would be amazing. Yeah. So there, there's that for you, like I said, from metro.co.uk. In the UK. In the UK. Okay, thanks, Grammy. I'll, I'll be looking forward to that. And I know... Grammy's an ambitious lady. I don't know how she does that. Man. In the morning, before you do your chores, means I'll be wow. still... I'll still be snoozing, so yeah, it'll well, be done before I get up, and thank you. I think she's Wonder Woman. She is Wonder Woman. I think she oh, is. Oh, oh like, by the way, let me, ask, let, let me ask you, when you... She is Wonder Woman, I think. She, she is, she is. I did, think she is. Did, did, I, I did, you, uh, did you go to the reallibertymedia.com website tonight before you got here? No, I went right to Freaker's Ball. How'd you, how'd you do that? Clicked on the link in the fucking chat room. <laughs> oh, okay, and that takes you to the show page? Yep, yep. Oh, okay. I was just going to ask you if it was more, if if you were confused about how to get here from the, from the, from the home page. No, I wasn't, but I, I, I saw someone, I saw a friend of the bar tonight and gave him the, the link for the website, so hopefully it works. Oh, it works. <laughs> well, it should. I mean, it's, you're just saying change. The, the format of it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the channel selector is no longer on the front page, so. Oh, okay. So they, but the, but it, it, there's a thing there. It says channels, and there's also the show pages. Okay. Well, let me just look on there right. Yeah. Well, if you're if you're on the if you're on the show the, the show page, you can see right there on the. Well, menu. I don't want to. No, because I I watch. I have the player up. No, I I'm saying. But I'm saying window. from the menu there, it's just just, just you, know, you can see on the menu where. Where uh, where where the show pages are? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I gave him the name of the show too. Well, that, that helps. Well, yeah. What's your friend's name? Greg. Hey, Greg. How the hell you doing, man? <laughs> Come on into and the chat. Sandy. <laughs> what, what's that? Sandy. Greg and Sandy. And Sandy. Hey. Yeah, both y'all. Yeah. Come on if into the chat in, here. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this is my crazy show. Yeah. Yeah. Moose. They're friends of mine from Eau Claire. She is she is famous. I am. I'm famous. well, I'm the Moose girl, but <laughs> they call me famous, yeah. Oh speaking of weed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. From from the High Times magazine. Okay. The dumbest woman in the history of well. This week. Dumbest woman of this week. <laughs> Let's just go that way with it. Okay. <laughs> woman finds package of weed in food subscription box. Yeah, that's awesome. It is awesome, but see, it's a headline story here on High Time. Oh, yeah, what the hell? How does this happen? That's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because nobody should have ever heard about this. <laughs> <laughs> And it says, "What would you do? What What would you do if you opened the I mail the trap. I and you'd found a bunch of like, weed?" My lucky fucking day. <laughs> so uh, it says here, for, uh, 
Food delivery subscriptions are becoming wildly popular in the U.S., and typically things go smoothly, but every once in a while, customers might receive a delivery they were not expecting. That's exactly what happened to a woman in Greene County, New York, who recently opened a mail-order box of snacks to discover that it was full of weed. <laughs> well, how she got her snacks? Nice. She got her snacks and her weed all in one box. That would be a bonus. <laughs> According to the local news source, Janine Mulholland ran into her surprise delivery at some point toward the end of last week. The, uh, the way Mulholland describes it, her 11-year-old son opened a box from Gray's, which sends them bi-monthly snack deliveries. Typically, the boxes from Gray's are filled with a variety of healthy snacks, but this box was a little different. There were reportedly multiple sealed packages of marijuana laying atop the usual snacks. So oh she God. got her snack. Bonus. She is got it her good? weed. Was it good weed or you know, was it uh, I mean, uh, it was a big difference, you know. Okay. Then here's the problem. Here's where the problem lies okay. in this next sentence. After discovering the unexpected delivery, Mulholland called Gray's and local law enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> Gray's enforcement. Obviously not a pothead. Anyway, it says Graves reportedly reviewed the security footage. Representatives from the company said it didn't look like anyone had tampered with the package at their facility. As of now, police are investigating the case. So far, they haven't figured out how the cannabis got into the snack box or who put it there. <laughs> Maybe this woman's never heard the old saying, finders, keepers, what? Right, yeah. apparently not. Yeah, so, losers, leapers, finders, keepers. Um... So she put her Gray's um, subscription on hold after getting weed. I would have ordered more. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have said, dang, you guys going to send me some more of that? Or <laughs> what's up here? <laughs> wow. That would be crazy. Oh, what the hell's going on wow. here? Wow. Oh, I got this stupid thing. I don't know what happened. A little pop. <laughs> no kidding, Mr. Ralph. Crazy no woman. No doubt. No doubt. Right, well, whatever. What high, the hell? Uh, high Times is going public. <laughs> oh, really? That, that's got, that, that, that's got, oh, that means they're going to be listed on one of the stock exchanges. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. So that, that's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. Overall. That is a bad thing, in my opinion. Yeah. They will. They will no longer be independent. Kind of wrecks their credibility now. Anyway, right I mentioned I mentioned uh, earlier that the uh, Coca Cola's plan planning on adding the cannabis coke. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me, yeah, let, me, yeah. let me let me let me let me share let me share the uh, article. See, this is a, this is the problem. This is what we said all along. That you know these big corporations are going to seize on this shit, and it's not a good thing. We don't want that. We don't need that. We don't need weed to be corporatized. Anyway, well, according to Bloomberg, uh. Bloomberg.com, it says marijuana is not just about getting high. Well, mostly. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> everyone from Coca-Cola to pharmaceutical companies is looking to tap possible therapeutic use of the CBD. Of course they are. CBD. Uh, it's a substance that's capturing more attention as the, the source plant grows. And it talks about what is CBD, what does it do, is it legal, what companies are looking to use it. Could Coca-Cola use CBD in its drinks if it's legal? If it's illegal? No. <laughs> but CBD can also be derived from hemp, a rel related plant that's, how, that's now il illegal to grow. A farm bill passed by the U.S. Senate in June would legalize hemp production. This was backed by Senate Majority Leader Dick Dick Heddle of Kentucky, whose state would be poised to become the leading grower of legal hemp. So, at this point in time, um, being as it's still illegal, uh, Coke can't make the make the CBD Coke, but um, you know they could at some time in the future here soon, I guess. I mean, I I haven't drank a Coca Cola in in in. 
and I, I don't know, several years. Um, but if it had some CBD in it, I'd probably give it a whirl. <laughs> you know? Yep. As long as, as, right. as long as it wasn't made with aspartame or some crap like that. Right. Yeah, and you know. Or high fructose corn syrup. Right. So. Yep. Yeah. Crank it up, man. I'll, I'll take some. I'll try it out. Well, Coke used to have fucking actual cocaine in it. When it sure, came sure. Up. So, you know, let's put, that's how they got their, its name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It used to have cocaine in it. Right. Which is, you know. Hello. Uh, I I would I would have tried that. Yeah, I mean, come on, <laughs> Coke used to get you fucking, you get a bump when you drink your Coke. Hey. Oh God! All right, but I hope it was good cocaine and not like Ajax. And, right. Or whatever. I'm just kidding. Uh, ba Back in baby, the day, you know, baby. I, I think Baby Laxative is one of their favorites. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. give you the shit. You know, you think you're gonna get high? And you might <laughs> That's why this white powder, I don't know what the fuck that is. You know, I don't know what white powder is. When I look at it, it could be fucking anything. It could be baby powder. I don't know. You yeah, know? Right. Comet, you don't know. It could be flour. Anthrax. Yeah. Uh, you know, who knows? Let's just snort it up our nose. We don't know what it is, you know. Fuck that. Uh, all right. Well, since we're talking about all this weed, let's kick it off. It's tune here. All right. Let's hear some more music, people. Enjoy. Yeah. Uh, one of my songs here. Here it is. There it is, right there. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Tequila. <laughs> oh, I had to do it. I had to do it. Shep Woolly there, one eyed, one horned, a flying, a purple people eater. Uh, looks a little strange to me. Yes, indeed. Yeah, you can't judge a book by its cover there. Anyway, before that, we That's had some. That's not a human. <laughs> what? That isn't a human, a one-eyed... It don't matter, it don't matter. Right, anyway, right? Anyway, before that, we had Samantha Fish with Somebody's Always Trying. That's from last week. She recorded it September 6th there at the Big Blues Bender. Before that, Nashville Pussy. Before the Drugs Wear Off is the name of that track. Uh, from their uh, album of 2014 uh, called Up the Dosage. And we kicked it off there with a Cowboy Tech Request. Jim Stafford singing Wildwood Weed in Branson, Missouri. <laughs> oh, man. Freakers is live tonight there, Judge Dredd Hansel A. Nashville Front Hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Nashville Pussy, Nashville Front Hole. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Excuse me. I got to be politically correct. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> the Nashville front holes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Crazy crap on the freaking ball. i tell you what. <laughs> hey, what would you expect, Les? Come on now. Oh, uh, of course you not. You guys would be disappointed if we didn't do this. Well, we, you we, know, you know, we, the way we do it. We do what we do, and that's what we do. We do what we do, and that's what we do. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. Any new listeners out there, welcome. Welcome to the craziness of the Freakers Wall. Right on. Always glad, we do. To, always glad to have a few newbies coming around saying you howdy know, to us. new listeners is good, you know. Always, always good to have new blood. Sure. Chat room, or not in, just in RLM land, whatever you call it. Uh, right, RLM, whatever. Universe. <laughs> RLM universe. Yeah. Real yeah. Liberty Media universe. So, let's see here what we got. Let me see if I got anything bookmarked. All right. Let's see what you got. Let's see what I got. I got, okay. I got two stories. One is a bizarre story. It's about these squirrels that got entangled together. These baby squirrels got entangled together. Okay. And this is, I'll, I'll show the link. Give me the link, Graham, so you can post the picture up. All right. But what they did was they put these these people, these squirrels down, like a, for surgery, right, in, under anesthesia. Okay. And they untangled their tails, and they're fine now. But I had never seen this before um, or heard about, see, what happens is they're, when they're babies, their tails are, like, hairless, 
And then the mama, like, to make the nest, they use grass and stra straw and stuff like that, you know? Right. So, like, the tails got entwined together within the grass and the straws and everything. And so they saved these baby squirrels here, which I thought was a really cool story. This is from September 17, 2018. And I had never heard about this happening before, but it apparently was um, down by Milwaukee area. And they saved these squirrels, and they're thriving now. But they were in a predicament there. Those squirrels would have died. Yeah, that'd be kind of tough to, to, to live like that. Well, yeah. So I just how the hell would that, that even that happen? happen? How, how, when how? they're in the nest, like the the tails get entangled, and then there's all that other debris in there, like the grass and the straws, and it just kind of like melds together. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So they had to like do surgery. It only took them like an hour though to get the tails untangled, and they had to be really careful to not to you know what I mean, not harm their tails and everything. It was, you know sure. What I mean? So some of them have shorter tails than they should, but I've seen this with short tails. They live fine. They're fine. <laughs> but, no, that hey. was really cool. I thought that was really cool. Ben, ben, ben says that's fake news. No, that is not. It actually happened. Um, it just I posted a Coast to Coast link, but I will look it up. Yeah, no, the coast, story. Coast to Coast is a reliable source of news. Yeah, it is. Milwaukee, uh, it happened down by Milwaukee. Milwaukee, Wild Have, Wildlife Re Re Wildlife Rescue. Something like that. Right. I just posted the story that I bookmarked real quick, but they did actually... That's good enough. You don't um, need another one. A, yep, works. yep. And so then there's this other one. And now this is a feel-good story. And I actually want you to play the video, Grim. All right. And this to me is, this this really touched my heart. And I know it sounds corny, but, um, oh, this just started. Hang on a second. Now, it really, it, you, there's certain special people in the world that just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe them, but this story really fucking touched my heart. Okay. So I know it sounds corny, but just watch it. Just this is what's lacking in the world is people like this person, and people. You know what I mean? Just the system that it, she created. Just watch it. You'll, uh, you'll all, see right, it. all right. All right. We'll see what I. Just, everyone just watch this, and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> just give me a minute to set so it you up get it, Yep, give, gotta give, give Grim time to set it up, because I, like, threw it out there. Oh, here, play this. <laughs> yeah. So he's got to get it, set it up here, but... Yeah, this was... This was, a, this was an amazing story, in my opinion. Oh, you got... You, if you hit play, Graham, it'll get the full screen. No, I, I understand that. I had, to, I had to pause it to get stuff going. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Take your time. Whatever. But this is a story that I really... I, looked, I went... I just kind of bookmarked it. You know, like... Well, there you have it. Miss Delicious and her ice cream giveaway thingy. No, I thought that was really cool. No, it is cool. It's great. Yeah, no. I uh, mean, that's how the world should work. You know I, what I, mean? I, I agree. You know, people should just be nicer to each other. Yeah. It's a microcosm of how it could work. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, the the problem with, with when you <laughs> when you start being I know. When, when you start being nice to people, they take advantage of it. Right, but uh, uh, we gotta get away from that. Like. It, it shouldn't be that way. I mean, I know I'm a dreamer, but... But you're not the only one. Oh. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, no, no. I'm not the only one. And it, can, it, it is possible, people. No, it, it is. is. That's great. I, you know, I, I think it's terrific that all those people were, you know... They, it's a microcosm. They, they get, they get and they give. And yeah, no, it, it's awesome. I, I think it's terrific. Um 
I mean, you know, and, and who doesn't like, I mean, unless you're lactose intolerant or some other thing, well, who doesn't they like probably, they, 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 summer day? They probably got, like, sherbet or whatever for lactose well, intolerant people. You know, people. Dreamsicle is, like, orange, and all tea. Oh, man, Dreamsicles are good. All I right. like Dreamsicles. Fudgicles. I love Fudgicles, man. I used to eat the shit out of Fudgicles when I was a kid. I love them things. <laughs> Popsicles, Fudgicles, ice cream sandwiches. Come on. Them things are awesome. And by the way, and in case you're wondering, because... Some people say, "Oh no, that 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 ice cream that's got it's got bad stuff in it," you know. Yeah, yeah. But but does it? Everything's got. If you want to break it down, everything's got bad but stuff. But does it? it? Because you know, I, I got the story right here for you. All right, here we go. Grim has a link leads right into it. You know. Doctors find no evidence linking high levels of bad cholesterol to heart disease. Imagine that. Imagine that. A new report has failed to find a link between high levels of bad cholesterol, which means why you shouldn't even call it bad anymore, and heart disease. The study, which was led by 17 doctors from across the world, urged clinicians to stop using statins as a preventive measure as a result. Like, that's got to happen. You know, it's a lot of money in that shit. Anyway, uh, the use of the drug has always been highly contentious with physicians disagreeing about its effectiveness. Uh, we suggest clinicians should abandon the use of statins and PCSK-9 inhibitors. The medics, which include doctors from the UK, wrote in the study, they came to the conclusion that high bad cholesterol levels did not mean it would was definite that someone would get heart disease after looking at data from 1.3 million patients. At the moment, millions of people in the UK use statins as a way of lowering their LDL-C levels. Bad cholesterol uh, levels lead to uh, arteries becoming clogged by fat, which you've just proven is a lie. Um, that, that's not true. Um, so if you're on those statins, get the hell off of them. Because those are what's going to kill you, not the cholesterol. You, you need the cholesterol. Cholesterol is good for you. It's, it's part of your normal function. Oops. So, did I spell that wrong? Oh, no, it's just not in my dictionary. All right. <laughs> Oh, I was on mute. I'm like, when was the last time you saw a drug commercial? I, I saw one right. for a statin drug just the other day. The, the side effects, listen to the, any drug commercial. Listen to the, I mean, I don't, I'm not advocating for watching commercials because I fucking can't stand them. But if you ever <laughs> catch a, a drug commercial for any drug, watch that fucking thing and see through the lines and then listen to the end. All the side effects that they live. It's like, why in the fuck would I want to go on with of them? You've got all these possible side effects, which none of them sound good. Oh, you could have uh, internal bleeding. You could have uh, headaches. You could have suicidal tendencies or thoughts. Um, excuse me? I want nothing to do with this thing. You know? It's so fakey because they use actors in the commercials. Oh yeah, life was was bad because I had fibromyalgia, and all of a sudden this uh, drug came along, and now I'm good to go. I can enjoy my family life again. Oh my god, it's so fakey, dude. It's it's terrible. Right. It, it's freaking ridiculous. When you listen to all these goddamn side effects at the end of the commercial. It's like who in their right mind would fucking go on one of these things? I, I don't know. I don't know. Right. 500 side effects or something. It's not like, this could happen. That could happen. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, really? If you're if you're pregnant, if you're this, if you're this age, it's like, what the fuck, people? Why are you even putting this on the people? You don't even know if it works. I, I, can't, I can't imagine. But, you know, well, you don't even know if it really works. You just trust these, these people that you don't even fucking know that, you know, that are making huge money and living the life of luxury 
you know, well, you're struggling to pay, make ends meet and pay the bills. They want you to fucking pay money to buy these drugs to be on that are supposedly <laughs> going to make you feel good. Feel better than you do. Uh, you're a funny man there, Woody. <laughs> I mean, come on. All right, now let me ask you this. I don't. I, I've, I've known people that had these, but I don't. I don't know if they do give you drugs or what for it. Um, you ever, you ever had or known anybody that had, that had kidney stone? Yes. And do they give them a drug or something to get rid of it, or? They're supposed. They give them something that supposedly breaks up the kidney stone. Okay. Well, here's here's a better here's a better way. Oh God! Here we go. Do I want to hear this? I don't know. Maybe. Sounds more fun to me. <laughs> Sounds more fun to me. I don't know. It says roller coaster rides can dislodge kidney stone. There you go. That would work. That would work for me. That would be better than being on some big pharma med. Yeah. It says uh, every year the journal called the Annals of Improbable Research awards spoof prizes to researchers whose scientific achievements make people laugh, then think. The IG Nobel Prizes are just for fun, but scientific discoveries are very real. Judges award this year's IG Nobel Prize for Medicine to researchers who investigated how roller coasters can help remove kidney stones. This year's winner, Dr. Uh, Professor David Wartinger and Mark Mitchell, looked into the effects of roller coasters can have on kidney stones. They got the idea after someone came back from vacation saying their kidney stone dislodged after going on a roller coaster. So they took the sil nice. a silicone model of a human renal system filled with urine Here and kidney go. stones on Walt Disney's World's Big Thunder Mountain Railroad in Orlando. I don't know if that's really, I don't know if that's a roller coaster, but whatever. Anyway, they did say the ride did help ease the passage of the stones through the silicone urinary tract. The team discovered... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the, the, the team considered using. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. The team considered using animals, but deemed it inappropriate. <laughs> Who decided to do a fucking study on this? Well, the, the, I mean, it makes sense. These, but these researchers you know, did because they found that you know somebody came back from a roller coaster vacation and and said it worked. Okay. So well, there you go. So they said, let's test it out, and they tested it out, and it worked. And I'm I'm certainly glad they didn't put some dogs on the roller coaster. That would freak the fuck out of them. Um, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would not be a good thing to do to a dog. Uh, uh, no, no, not at all. No, you can't do that. No. Yeah, no, that that'd be wrong. That'd be, that'd be wrong. That would be. Yeah, no, dogs would not like roller coasters. I'm sure. No. No, dogs are the kind of... No, I don't think any animal really would like a roller coaster, except for a human. <laughs> right, yeah. I, I mean, you know, maybe a maybe monkey... Maybe some aliens, I mean, but... Yeah, probably well, a monkey I, would be a monkey would be okay with it. Yeah, but picture a bear. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 you don't want to be on there. No, no, You don't want to be... No, they'd be like, what the flying fox? Uh, you know... Like, why would we do this? <laughs> that is a different, that's a totally different organ there, Flash, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> totally different. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I got for bookmarks this week. Oh, that's okay. All, well, all right, well, we'll play some more music and come back. I got some more. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I got a new job this week. That's the big news. For that's me. the big news. That's that's the same company in a different department. That's, so, that's, yeah, uh, that's awesome news, you know. That's, yep. that's great Still stuff. Still working for the same place, just doing something else. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, it'll be good. All right, enjoy, everyone. Indeed. This is uh, live in Sweden. This is the great man of Asia. something or what that's Joe Bonamassa Blues Deluxe from Rock Palace back in 2006 with a face melting guitar solo there just amazing stuff before that Ina Forsman with the Helg Tavaquist band doing What Have I Done 
And we kicked it off there from uh, 1970 Fleetwood Mac, Peter Green, the Green Manalishi, live in Sweden. Whew. So much good stuff. I say, I say, I say. <laughs> I say, boy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm sorry, my face melted. I had to like. I know, I know. It it, it makes it it, yeah. it makes it difficult to go on doing radio. Yeah. When you when your face is gone. <laughs> right, melted to your desk or whatever. Yeah. No, Joey B brings it. Oh time. man, I tell you. Uh... He's always on. He's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. He's, oh yeah. He's good. I mean, I'm not saying like. Funny Guy ain't good, because I see, like, we watched Funny Guy, that was a highlight of my week. Oh, that, that, that was amazing. From Austin City Limits, I mean. Yeah, that, that, was, that was an amazing show. That was awesome. It was so good to see him, you know? It was just so great. That was yeah. quite the treat there. I was so glad they saw it. Was. It, was, it was. It was terrific. It was terrific. I, it was great. Oh, yeah. my God. He was so spunky and so funny. Oh, my God. It was so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was really great. But anyway, um, awesome set there. Yeah. As, as usual. Some talent going on there with those boys and girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A lot of musicians. Great, awesome musicians. I'm. Just, I mean, I'm a dancer. I'm not a musician. But you know what? Musicians appreciate dancers. They really do. Sure. They want people to dance to their songs and stuff. Yeah, get up, get up and move that thing. You know. Want, yeah. That. I mean, that to them means that they're doing. You know, their songs good or whatever. You know what I mean? Right. Right. No you question. Get a reaction out of the crowd. You know, you got a good thing. You know, you don't want just, you know, like, can you imagine just being like Led Zeppelin and no one even reacting to the music? Like, how could you not? And that's a bad example. You know what I mean? Sure. I mean, can you imagine, like, people just being like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? See, Sock so wants you to dance for him. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, you know. I got the moves, baby. <laughs> you know, I'm not a spring chicken, but I still got the moves going on. You know it. Yes, you do. I do, and that's how I keep my youthful appearance. Or I try to, knock on wood. Now, it they, catches up to you, though. It catches up to you. Yeah, oh, wow. Well. it. Sure. But you just got to keep moving and keep moving your body. Shaking that booty. That's the key. Shake like, that hey, groove I, I thing. What's that, what's, that song? what's that song? Shake that groove thing. Shake your booty. <laughs> and shake your groove thing works. <laughs> Or Baby Got Back. That song, remember that song? Baby Got sure. Back. That was a good tune, dude. Just shaking your booty. Yeah. Have you ever, um, have you ever, uh, vaped your marijuana? Yes. Apparently. Apparently. I've vaped, but, uh, no, I've done dabs. I haven't vaped. I've vaped, like, a couple times, but usually I've, the way to do it is do dabs. No, oh, okay. Okay. Well, apparently, according to this article here, and they and they say it like it's a bad thing, and I say it's a great thing, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> wow. Two million U.S. teens are vaping marijuana. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know what? It's actually better for your lungs to do it that way. Well, whatever. I don't, I don't care. It's you know, all good. No, it is, though. It, seriously, it's better to do it that way. It's less harm in your lungs. And, and, <laughs> and, and, I, and, I, and I think their numbers That's may true. be low. <laughs> what was that? I said, I think their numbers may be low. Oh, yes, I, I'm sure. Anyway, according to this here, sfgate.com, a school-based survey shows nearly 1 in 11 U.S. students have used marijuana in electronic cigarettes. 1 in 11. Oh, now, yeah, hello. I, I, I mean, I know it's not the 70s anymore, but... Oh, I, I can guarantee you the number was much higher when I was in school. Oh, um, yeah. Anyway, so it says here, heightening health concerns. Oh, shit. Oh, about the go. new popularity of vaping yeah. on teens. Uh, E-cigarettes typically contain nicotine, but many of the oh. battery-powered devices can vaporize other substances, mm. including marijuana. 
Uh, results published Monday mean 2.1 million middle and high school students have used them to get high. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So the propaganda about the bad, the, the harm about with marijuana, which there isn't, okay? But they've been telling us lies, you know, and I told my kids this even. I'm like, everything they told you about weed in school is a fucking lie. All right, well, they go on and here. And they haven't changed their tactic, because that's what they did when I was in fucking 7th and 8th grade. It's fucking wide right to my fucking face. Okay, well, they, they, they go on no. here to say that vaping is generally considered less dangerous than smoking. Uh, less dangerous than smoking because burning tobacco or marijuana generates chemicals that are harmful to lungs. But there yeah. is little, yeah. little research on e-cigarettes' long-term effects, including whether they help smokers quit. Oh, e-cigarettes suck. That's a total different Well, no, 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 it's not, because they, it's the same device. It's, it's, right, the, it's but the same device. It might, no, not exactly. No, and you got to only, you can't smoke hot on a lawn and then switch to tobacco. You have to have... No, one right, I mean, wait, right. yeah, you can't, I'm just saying you would buy the same device and to, you, to use for either. It's not exactly the same device, though. They're not, that's not correct. Uh, all right, well... That's my understanding of it. I've never used it. It isn't one. though. That's not whatever. Correct. There's two different devices. So it says the rise in using e-cigarettes has alarmed health officials, health officials who worry kids will get addicted to nicotine. Well, not if they're smoking dope through it. Uh, right. A stimulant, nicotine, a stimulant, and uh, be more likely to try cigarettes. Uh, last week, the FDA gave the first largest e-cigarette maker five largest e-cigarette makers uh, 60 days to produce plans to stop underage use of their products. Well, the the, the regular what? cigarette guys never stopped it, so why would the e-guys do it? kids told me, the whole four years they went to high school, they're like, all these kids bait, Mom. Yeah. They can't stop it. They it's, can't stop it. It's certainly them. not one in 11. <laughs> Just like they can't stop smoking, kids, underage kids smoking cigarettes. They can't stop it. Uh... Just like they can't stop people from smoking fucking weed. They can right. make it illegal all they want. No one's ever stopped smoking weed. It says here nearly nine... Or doing cocaine. Or murdering somebody. Wh whatever, right. They say murdering people is illegal. That hasn't stopped people from murdering people. Uh, not that, not yet. Right. Um, no. Anyway, it says, it says here that... Uh, Nearly 9% of students surveyed in 2016 said they used an e-cigarette device with marijuana. Acor okay, according, big deal. Anyway, okay. so uh. the, it says the number is worrying <laughs> because oh, yeah. cannabis, worrying. Use, cannabis use among youth, uh, and, and then they throw out another huge lie here, cannabis use among youth can adversely affect learning and memory. And may, and may it bullshit. It impair, in may impair later academic achievement no, education. the opposite is true. It huge, helps huge propaganda lie right there for you. Fucking A. Um, anyway, so, but that's what they say. Um, right. So, But again, well, they this say is, shit all the time. you know, they're, they're quoting the FDA and they're quoting the JAMA, which is a, a I've always said, whatever journal they of say, medical or whatever. Opposite. I've always said, whatever they say, believe the opposite to be true. Absolutely. Yeah, I've always said that. Like, whatever they say, believe the opposite of what they're saying. Right. Because they're fucking lying to your face, blatantly. They did it in seventh grade, but weed to me. And you know what? They put it in the same category as fucking all the other drugs. It's like, uh, no, wrong. That was a big fucking lie. And so the same shit comes around. My kids are the same age. I'm like, they're fucking lying to you. No, they're not. Um, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> Sorry to say, but they are. Oh. And they're like, it's oh, wait, them. wait. There, here's one for the voters. Uh, hey, oh, hey. voters. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> That's not me, so this story does not apply to me. Here's what you people think you're voting. Uh, here's the deal: a, a judge says Georgia's e-vote machines are awful, but go ahead and use them. <laughs> it says the court says there's no time to get a paper ballot before November. What you only got like two months? 
Uh, anyway, so a U.S. judge has okayed the use of paperless electronic voting machines in Georgia despite being gravely concerned about the state's ability to defend them from hackers. So we know the results are going to be pointless and worthless, but we're going to go ahead and use them because, well, you know, voting. <laughs> If you, if, if any of you thought uh, voting was real, <laughs> <laughs> and even if you do the paper ballot, they they know it's it's fucked up. They know it's all fucking faked and it uh, is. and stuff. And they, that's why they say you don't do worry about it. Paper ballot, they still run it through the fucking machine. We 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 don't think we, about that. We don't. They, they are. They, no one hand counts ballots anymore. We don't. We don't care. They don't hand, if they really hand counted ballots, I guarantee you the results would be way fucking different. <laughs> we, but we, they don't. They got these machines that count the vote. Hello, you're trusting your fucking vote and hoping that it makes a difference on a fucking machine that's already rigged. We we don't care about. Up. We don't care about the results of the votes because we're gonna make them up anyway. And if that's Make what it comes down up, to. Because we already got the people selected that we want to hold in these positions. We're just letting you think, we're mental masturbating you to think that you have a fucking choice in the matter. When you really fucking know. <laughs> fucking Christ, people. No, no, none of your votes count for anything. So Make don't the you, fuck up. Don't, don't you worry that the machines are, are, are no good because your votes that's don't why count. I don't fucking. I don't go to the fucking poll. Why? I'm not going to be a sheeple. I'm not a fucking lemmy. Fuck you and your fucking oh, fucked up voting fucking shit. Fake shit. I'm not going to fucking do that. All right. Well, just a, just a heads up for anybody that's uh, Fuck you. in Iceland or planning to going to Iceland. I don't live in Iceland. I'm not planning to go there. I mean, it would be awesome to go there, but I'm, but I'm not going there. Anyway, Iceland's a monster volcano charging up for eruption. The Kotla, the Kotla volcano hidden beneath the ice cap of the, I'm not even going to try and say that word, glacier in Iceland <laughs> has historically erupted violently once every 40 to 80 years oh. in as much as its last eruption took place 100 years ago in 1918. Catla's next eruption is long overdue. So bear that in mind. Anybody planning to go to Iceland or in Iceland, um, that, I couldn't even begin to say this, E-Y-J-A-F-J-A-L-L-O-A-J, -A 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 those O's with the dots over them, K-U-L-L. <laughs> I'll put the word in there in the chat. You guys can try to pronounce it yourself. Uh, I, 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 got, I, got, I, got, I got no clue what the hell that word is or how you would even begin to pronounce it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. uh, where is that? There it is. <laughs> You're not a baker? Oh, okay. I thought you were. <laughs> uh, 12 and 8 is... Uh, 12 and 8 is what, 22? No, 12, 12 and 8 is 20. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I could do math. <laughs> All right, we got a couple of minutes left here. Um, <laughs> see the other great stories we have here for you. Um... I don't oh, do this. well with stupidity, man. I don't do good with that. Yeah. Sorry, but it's a fucking trigger. I can only take so much of fucking stupidity before I fucking call it fucking out. Okay, so this week... Fucking done. Th this week, the uh, the creator of Linux... Yeah, no, you can't hit... I can at least spell the fucking word. I don't use fucking stupid fucking... Um, truth? T-R-O-O-F? Yeah, no, that's the thing. T-R-U-T-H, bitch. All right. Anyway, yeah, it's, that's that's just a common usage of a. Thing. I know. No, you know what? But it it, it 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 makes me think people are stupid. We're troofers. Troofers. Yeah, troofers. It's a. Fu it's stupid. <laughs> it's fucking middle school shit. All right. Anyway, so. Get um, over your fucking selves. 
uh, earlier. You don't know everything. No one fucking does. That's a fact of fucking life. You think right. you fucking know it all? You need your head fucking examined. All right, all right. Anyway, so earlier this week, um, it's, it's posted over here on the next web dot com. Uh, the the creator of Linux of the Linux operating system came out with what he's called a code of conduct for developers. And it's um, it's not gone over well at all. It says, Chaos follows Linux dev community's new code of conduct. Uh, on Sunday, Linus Torvalds, the chief programmer of the Linux kernel, sent out a letter in which he apologized for his hostile behavior towards others in the community that maintain the project. He added that he will be taking some time off. I'm going to take time off and get some assistance on how to understand people's emotions and respond appropriately. He's a programmer. He doesn't need to understand people. Anyway, Torvald's referring to what he described as my flippant attacks and emails, which he believes were both unprofessional and uncalled for, especially at times when I made it personal. Following the letter, the, the Linux community announced for the first time it will adopt a code of conduct, which is outlined as followed. In the interest of fostering an open and welcoming environment, we as contributors and maintainers pledge to make participating in our project in our community a harassment-free experience for everyone, regardless of age, body size, disability, ethnicity, sex characteristics, gender identity and expression, level of experience, education, socioeconomic economic status, nationality, personal appearance, race, religion, or sexual identity and orientation. This conduct encourages positive language, being respectful to different views, and acceptance under constructive criticism. Da 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 da. He goes on, but people come back and says, "I guess the big news in Linux today is that the Linux kernel is now governed by a code of conduct and a post meritocracy worldview." The I, in principle, these code of conducts look great. In practice, they are abused tools to hunt people SJWs don't like. And they don't like a lot of people. <laughs> and it goes on like that. But uh, basically what it is is this. This is not going to go over. This is, this is no good. They can't be having this kind of bullshit um, as, as, as part of the, the whole Linux developers community. It's just, that just don't work. Put all that crap out there like that. Because, you know, people like to joke around. The programmers, they either get their head into, into the code day after day after day after hours and... And, and 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 so seriously, leave it alone. Get rid of that crap. Um. <laughs> anyway, that's all. That's all I got to say about that. But uh, that's bullshit, Linus. Linus. Um. <laughs> that's all there is to that. All right, we're gonna play our last set here, Moose. All right. And uh, got some good stuff lined up here for you. Awesome. And, as I need to hear some good stuff at this point. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm not motherfucking around. You know, people sit here and go, what are you doing? What are you doing? Guess what I'm doing? I'm not fucking around. That's what I'm doing. That's what she ain't doing. <laughs> I'm not fucking around. <laughs> All right, this is uh, some some guy named Robin Trower. You may have heard of him. I don't, I don't know. about that. That is Larkin Poe, the sisters Larkin Poe, doing their version of Black Betty back in uh, June 28th of this year at the New York State Blues Fest. Before that, we had the Hell Freaks, yeah, old freaky, freaky Sue there, uh, with their song, I'm Away. And uh, before that, Jim Stafford, courtesy of Cowboy Tech there, with Swamp Witch. And we kicked it off with the Chloe request, Miss Chloe requesting Robin Trower and two Rolling Stoned. Ah, uh, some fine, fine stuff. Anyway. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, good stuff all that long, let me tell you. You know it. <laughs> anyway, yes, folks. Yes, they are uh, taught. Well, a lot of it comes naturally, but a lot of it's taught by your upbringing, who your parents are and everything. 
Like, it comes naturally to all of us, but then when you're a helpless babe, you need someone to teach you those things. And most people don't have a parent that can teach them those things. Right. But luckily, my kids did have a parent that taught them those things. I'm not bragging or nothing, I'm just saying. I taught them them things. She's just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyone, anyway. Anyway, I'll folks, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow we got the dark table at noon with a Flash and uh, Vinny. Don't miss at noon Eastern. That is, and again on noon Eastern, uh, on noon at, at noon Eastern on Sunday, I will be on playing the blues here on RLM Radio, and we'll be doing the trivia here in the chat. Don't miss. Come on in, play some trivia with us. There, have a good old time. And then at 3 p.m. Eastern, we'll be Hal Anthony behind the woodshed opening up the big old can o whoop. Has and we uh, probably get a free, another dark table on Tuesday. Yep. I think. Three. I, I think. Dark I think. I think, I think. I think. I say. Anyway. Wait, and, it, it, no. Okay. I got a question. What? What? If it's the dark table, that's, why are there just two people all the time? It's a small it's table. Like a two-person table, or is it's, it's, like it's, a, it's, a, table? it's a small table. Okay, so it's a two-person table. Well, you could probably get four sitting there, you know. But, yeah, uh, but you'd be all scrunched in and everything. Yeah, like, how yeah. How big is a table? You know what I mean? I, I don't know, but they need room for beers and the roller yeah, joints. Yeah, you know, well, you got to have a big table if you're going to have, like, a dark table. You know? <laughs> or it could be a two-person dark table. That's just my question. Okay. Yeah, they could just use a bigger table and, and only have two right, people. Right, right. Just bring a bigger table right. and more chairs. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. on uh, Wednesday and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern is Grammy's Rocket Chair. And then right. uh, we'll be back again next Friday with another Freakers Ball. Hopefully, if everything goes all right. If. If. You never know. You never anyway, know, man. The giant meteor could come any time. It could. The, the, the fucking planets could fucking collide or something. There you go. Sure. We don't, we don't know. You know yeah. Who knows? You don't know. We what don't know. in charge, dude. I don't, you know, I don't question that shit. You know, I'm just <laughs> like, whatever. Do whatever exactly. you have to do. Anyway, y'all have a great weekend. It's been fun. Thank you all for coming here yeah. and um, being part of the show, being part of RLM. Yes. Hope you all enjoy the uh, the new website design there. And um, I guess that's all. Got anything else? That's it. No, I'm good. All right. Peace, y'all. Peace.